We had asked Professor Hawking if he'd be kind enough to take some questions from the public. And the questions submitted by the public have been overwhelming. We actually asked Professor Hawking if he could kindly answer three questions. But he's been very enthusiastic and decided to select six questions. It takes an incredibly amount of time for Professor Hawking to write his answers, and that was why he was slightly late today. I will read out the questions, and uh, Professor Hawking will respond to the questions. These are the six questions that he has selected. I will read them out in turn. Are you ready, Stephen? The first question is from Mr. Jiang Galun. Could gravity distort light? Gravity does indeed distort light. It was one of the predictions made by Einstein in 1915 when he proposed the general theory of relativity. The gravity of the sun curves the space near it and deflects light passing through it. This was verified by observations during the eclipse of 1919. Light from a distant star passing near the sun was bent through a small angle, causing a slight shift in the apparent position of the star relative to other stars. Thank you. The second question was raised by a group of physically challenged. How do you face up to such a major physical challenge and still maintain a positive world view? Even if one is physically challenged, there is a lot one can achieve, as I have shown. You can't afford to be disabled in spirit, as well as physically. People won't have time for you. Thank you very much. The third question. We have many constants in this universe. For example, speed of light, boiling point of water, gravity. Where do these constants come from? Why are they here? What will happen if the values of these constants are changed? The constants of nature are determined by the parameters of the standard model. According to M-theory, these are given by the geometry of the six dimensions of space that are curled up small. There is a whole landscape of possible values for these parameters but most of them give universes that are not suitable for the development of life. Only in a few universes will intelligent life appear and ask why the constants of nature have the values they do.
Yes. Thank you. The fourth question. Is there a role for God in this universe? The French scientist Laplace explained to Napoleon how the laws of science would determine the evolution of the universe. But where does God fit into this picture? asked Napoleon. I have not needed that hypothesis, was the reply. Thank you. Question number five. Is the universe a black hole? At first sight, the Big Bang looks rather like the time reverse of a collapse to a black hole. However, there is an important difference. In the Big Bang, the universe starts out smooth and uniform with only tiny fluctuations. On the other hand, the collapse to a black hole will be highly irregular and non-uniform. This difference can be explained by the no-boundary proposal. The history of the universe in imaginary time will be a closed almost smooth surface. However, there will be small fluctuations because of the uncertainty principle. On continuing back to real time, these fluctuations grow with time. They are small in the early universe and large in gravitational collapse. The early universe is not the time reverse of black hole formation. Thank you. Question six. Why do you have an American accent? The voice that I use it's a very old hardware speech synthesizer, made in 1986. I keep it because I have not heard a voice I like better, and because by now, I have identified with it. But the hardware is large and fragile, and uses components that are no longer made. Thus, I have been trying to get a software version. But that seems very difficult. One version had a French accent. I said if I used it, my wife would divorce me. <laughs> Following on that, I can't resist sharing a question of mine with you, which I asked Stephen Hawking during a dinner. And I'll read it out to you. I asked Stephen, do you have any unfulfilled ambition you'd like to accomplish during your lifetime? Do you want to know the answer? He said, I have lots of ambitions. I want to know what happens inside black holes, how the universe began, and more immediately, how the human race can survive the next hundred years. And then he said, I would also like to understand women.
round of applause for a great scientist, a great man, Mr. Universe, Stephen Hawking. Thank you for being such a wonderful audience. May I ask you to remain seated while I'll invite Professor Paul Chu, Dr. John Chen, and Lucy Hawking to come up for a group photo, please. May I ask that the audience remain seated until I give the signal for you to leave the room. Now the audience may leave in a, an orderly manner, please. Thank you very much for your support. I very much appreciate it. Thank you.